Yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another video. I'm Brett Papa, and today is another VH tune because why not? Let's just do them all. This one, actually, if you're like, you know, just starting in their catalog, this one's probably like the best one to start off with because it's actually pretty simple and it's got a lot of patterns in it. And even the solo is not that hard. There's a couple off of this first album that are actually like, even if you're like beginner intermediate land that you could probably pull them off. And this is one of them for sure. You gotta make sure you tune your guitar down a half step. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe and to click the bell if you are new here. Lots of videos coming out all the time. And also somewhere in here, there will be at some point in time, a free soloing course on the little card. It'll be like, ding, up in the corner. And that's a free soloing course all about how to improvise, how to hit target notes, and how to really learn how to see and play over chord changes, no matter what the chord change. And even if you know the key or not, that one will totally open up the fretboard. So check that out, it's free. And then down below, if you wanna support the cause, check out brettpapa.com. Okay, so going into this guitar, into the flanger, then into a boost pedal. This is the J Rocket Archer Jeff Beck mod, and it's really just for like a little bit of mids and high end, very little boost on it. From there into an Echoplex pedal, which you want turned up pretty good with one repeat. So you get like a, you know, a nice slap back, you know, one good echo. Okay, and then from there, I go into a head a BTR 23 divided by 13 that already has a little bit of distortion on it. So by itself. All right, then with the Archer. Then with the Echoplex. And then with the Flange. Okay, so that's all the tone. Other than that, this guitar stock, nothing special about it. Well, I mean, it's special. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> For the money, these things are freaking killer. If you can afford one of these and love metal, totally recommend it. Plays great, awesome guitar. Okay, so the song is basically based off of an A minor chord and a G chord, right? You're gonna do some really heavy muting over an A minor chord and a G chord in the beginning, okay? And the pattern is gonna start off low, or not low A, but A string. <laughs> a, D, B, G. Very heavy muted. You don't want the strings to be ringing out. Then from there, you're gonna jump to the high E and you're gonna hit that twice, once open and then once with the first fret. So I would just flatten out your first finger. Okay, so you got. All right, and then from there, you're gonna go up to the G, so you got. And then B, G. So you've hit the whole A minor chord, really slowly. One more time. And then you're gonna go, and I would use my pinky and just hit the third fret of the E and the B. Okay, so you got. Then from there, you're gonna jump and finish this. Oh, you like that a little VH reference? You might as well jump up to the low E string. <laughs> and then the third fret, E, third fret, A, and then go to the second fret. Okay. One more time. That's when you kick on the flanger on this part. Okay, and it's gonna do that 
four times. Now from there, it's cool with this delay, you're gonna get like a, it, it sounds like you're hitting more than you are. Cause it's slapping back, right? So I'm really going without it. And then sometimes it's just, but with that delay on, it sounds like more is going on, okay? So, now this is what happens in the chorus, and this time it doesn't go to the G, it does an open E, right? So it goes. Now it's going to do that twice, okay? And then on the second time, it has this really cool little lick that goes. Okay, so what you do is you would hit the first fret, do a bar dive, slide, slide. Okay. And one, I mean, you've got enough gain going, so it should sustain to do all of those, you know, that whole lick without having to hit it again, you know, without having to pick every time. So just the first one should be enough. Then back up. Okay, then the next lick that comes in is just bending up the G string, seventh fret. All right, and then slide down. Okay, now it goes to a modified version of the intro, right? In the verses, it's muted again, but it doesn't do the whole thing. It goes. Okay, so. Right? goes straight to one, one, and then, okay, on the G, and then you hit, well, it's not the G string, but the G chord. The strings you hit are the B and the E. So you got, okay, and then, third fret, third fret, and then, right? Now to get from the verse into the chorus, I think it's after four times, it's just a pick slide. He does this all the time. Like in almost every song, there's a pick slide and always slide, that kind of stuff in between sections. So listen for those. I would highly suggest going and typing in isolated tracks, right? Van Halen, isolated tracks, you'll hear like there's like 12 of them and they're so freaking good. But listen to them because you'll really get to hear what's going on. A lot of times in these tracks with the other instruments going on and stuff like that, a lot of stuff gets buried or you kind of hear the wrong notes because of all the other instruments going on. I mean, there's not a whole lot that's a four piece band, right? But even still in this stuff, you'll hear stuff that, you know, you probably never heard before. So check those out. So. Verse two. OK, 
Okay, so that happens on the third time, okay, through the chorus part, and that's right before the solo, right? So that lick is a unison bend lick. It's the eighth fret, B, 10th fret, G. Bend it up and then do two bars. And then slide up. Yep. Slide up a whole step and then do the same thing. Okay, and then back up. And then this is the solo. Now, the solo, there's a few things going on that, that are hard to hear. You can hear him, you can see him do it live. You know, he does that kind of fan picking the tremolo. It happens sporadically throughout these solos, so you don't have to do it if that's really hard for you. It's not audible enough to where you really have to do it. So if you want to just, you know, go through the solo without doing that, it's totally fine, right? But the climb. You're going to go and always hit the open E string. The, the fretted notes are going to be on the B string. So it's five to eight. And then eight to ten. Okay, so you got. Then it goes. And then this is where he does a little bit of. Okay, or you can just go. Right? So all you're doing that's different is climbing up to the 13th fret. Eight. Okay. Then it does the final climb. Okay, so that's just five, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, back, fifteen to seventeen. Okay, so. Now this next lick, super cool, okay? So you're gonna, you, you can hear, and you don't hear this with the album, right? Everything together, but you do hear it with the isolated guitar track. It's a hammer on and pull off lick. Okay, and then that goes to the flatted five. So it's uh, 17, 20 and then 20 on the G. But you're hitting this high E string. But he mutes it. Okay, so. Okay, so it does that four times. One, two, three, four, and then that's 19, 17, and then. So you bend this one up, and then you start bending this one up to a full step, but then you let it go and do a dive on the G. All right? Go through a chorus and then on that last G, just hang, roll the volume down. Okay, so this next part. You don't necessarily need to mute it, okay? So it's, it's kind of open. Okay. 
It's just, the, the only thing that's different is on this G, you just go all the way up to the D. Then you're gonna go to some A minor stabs and harmonics, but this is where you kick on the, the flanger again. Okay? Now, if you've never done a harmonic like this before, you're going right above the fret itself, right above the wire, and you barely touch it. My battery's dying in my flanger, and it's like, oh, it sounds like R2-D2 having a seizure. Um, okay, so we got... I'll kick it. Up. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go fifth fret, D, G, B. And then up to the 12th fret, D, B, G. Okay, so it goes. There it is, one more time. Okay, then again. This time it goes backwards, it goes B, G, D, seventh fret to the D in the G, and then it goes. So that's gonna be D, G, B, G. Okay, so, so far you got. Then, just like the first one. But this one has one you get to hear. Does a couple bar dives, and then the last one. Bring the volume back in. That like again. And then it goes, it does this like, so you got. So this, there's two ways of doing it. It actually kind of sounds like a slide, but You can also just hammer it on. Kind of sounds like. Is what it sounds like, but it's kind of like a weird. I don't know. I think maybe, maybe a hammer. That's on the third time, right? This is like, again, all the tutorials are like, 95% accuracy rate, get you through the gig for sure. Nobody will know, but the back dude, way back in the back, the back dude's like, yeah, you guys suck. I just came out of my mom's basement and I'm pissed. You know, I don't know. I think that's what it is, so. Okay, so. After that, we have one that, let's see, we got. He goes. Okay, and then two more. Okay, so after you hit the G, you're gonna come up and do a unison bend on 20 and 17. You're gonna bend it up, hit it twice, and then bend it up again. All right? Okay, so 
Okay, so after it does that, it does. And that's how you get into the second solo. So if I played that whole thing, right, it would be from the, the next chorus, right? So you got. And then into the. Now, if you want, you can do the exact same thing you did in the first one, excuse me. <laughs> um, but this one does actually have a lot more of that uh, tremolo picking in it. Okay, so it's. This one's it's the same kind of lick. And it's like some sort of. They get out of it, literally, it's like. Like only Eddie can do. Man, he's just got these stuff down. So you can you can work with it and like really get the notes exact, but it's a slide up like a elephant call. And then a bar dive on the E, okay? So Okay, same thing to get out, right? So. Okay, that is on the third time. And that is just a unison band on the G and the B. So you got seven and five, eight and 10, 10 and 12. Right? Okay, so once you come out of that solo, you basically do a chorus again, and it's, I think it's a double chorus, but it does something different towards the very end. So you're gonna go three times like normal, and on the third time, you add that unison bend in there, so you got. And then after that unison bend one, you do one more regular time. And then after that, you go. And you hit three stabs on a C chord. So it's. Okay, so you do that four times, and then it goes. Okay, so that whole part's pretty easy. It goes A, mute, B, C. And then it goes. Okay, so that's open E, G, C, B. All right, so you got. It. 
So that second time. So All right, take it. All right, so after the bar dive, it's just normal. So. And then the Hendrix card. That's gonna be seven, six, seven A, six D, seven G, eight B. See, wasn't that hard, right? So, I mean, like I said, that's that's pretty much the song in a nutshell. You know, just listen. I highly recommend get the isolated track. If it's how I do it, and just listen to it and play with just that, so you hear everything going on. You can fine tune everything. Like I told you, these are all the notes. You can fine tune the feel and the exact phrasing and timing and all that stuff with the isolated tracks. Totally available online. Get it, download it. I put it into like a. It's called Any Tune. It's a, it's a slow down device, and then I just loop it until you get the sections right, right? Super easy. Nothing's that complicated. It's just a few parts, like the beginning. That's one part, right? And then you got. Right, that's the verse. Choruses. With an open E. Back in the verses. Right, and that's the structure of the song, right? It's that once you get that down, it's just adding the little inflections or the little licks or whatever that he puts into the verses or the choruses. Most of the, most of the licks happen in the choruses, right? The All that kind of stuff are. And then it's the bridge, which is the exact same idea as the rest of the song. It's just take the guitar volume, roll it way down, and just be really, pick really lightly. Then the stabs with the flange. Right, back into the chorus. That little variation. Second chorus, and then the final part after the chorus. All that stuff, the outro part. That, my friends, boys and girls, is pretty much it in a nutshell, right? Like I said, download that track, just play along with it. Awesome tune. Remember, the flange isn't on the whole time. It's on little spurts. You know, back in the day, I thought it was like on the whole time, and it's not. It's on in little, little bits and pieces here in the song, and in the bridge, it comes on in that harmonic part. But it's kind of sporadic, so listen for it. And then, you know, just work on the parts. Just loop it, right? Get that thing any tune. I have no affiliation with that product, but it's one of the greatest 
uh, song learning devices I've come across. Riff Station, if you can find it, was another killer one. And then there's another one called um, Amazing Slowdowner. All of them are great. Um, and they all have some sort of EQ function to help really bring out the guitar. Great thing about the isolated tracks is you don't need that. You just hear the guitar, which is amazing. I wish I could find them for every song because you'd be shocked what goes on in the songs where you really think you're like, oh, I got this song and you hear it and you're like, oh, no, I don't got this song. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. So anyways, thank you for joining me. If you are new here again, make sure to subscribe. Click the bell to be notified. And remember, somewhere in this video was a free soloing course, fretboard command. Sometimes it's down in the description box as well. Everything here is supported by brettpapa.com down there. It is my courses. Plus also there's other courses with other instructors. So check that out. If you get a membership, you get an additional 25% off all the collaborative courses. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. I'll catch you next time.